what is up my little bagels and welcome back to another video so today guys what i want to talk to you all about is spider-man no way home and the possibility of the trailer coming sooner rather than later in the magazine total film they release information on marvel projects that are soon to be released of course this magazine is mainly focusing on loki which is set to be released on disney plus june 9th but total film did talk about other phase four marvel projects that are set to be released we got brief descriptions for some of the marvel projects but we'll only be talking about spider-man no way home and the description for spider-man no way home actually had this to say director john watts starring tom holland zendaya jamie fox eta 17th december 2021 after a lot of legal wrestling between Sony and Marvel, Tom Holland is finally back in the MCU for his third solo outing. Past life baddies, Electro, played by Jamie Foxx, and Dr. Octopus, played by Alfred Molina, are rumoured to return to a bigger, broader Spider-Verse that is now reeling from Peter Parker's recent unmasking. We already knew both Alfred Molina and Jamie Foxx are coming back reprising their roles. There's a part I want to kind of talk more about, which is basically the line where it says bigger, broader Spider-Verse that's now reeling from Peter Parker's recent unmasking. So they're basically saying Spider-Man's identity being revealed means that this has opened up the Spider-Verse. This is making no sense at all. I can understand where Sony and Marvel are coming from. They're trying to get us to read into this more and be like well maybe we're wrong that it's not Doctor Strange maybe it's Spider-Man's powers that can do this that allow him to jump from universe to universe I don't really know but with Sony and Marvel trying to cover up for months now that Tobey Maguire and Andrew Garfield aren't coming back which we all know is basically happening it's the same with Doctor Strange, he isn't going to be in the movie, but then we get proof he is in the movie. Now of course with Loki releasing June 9th, we will know more about the multiverse, for Loki will have to go and fix the timeline or timelines that were created by either going back in time or by the snap. Or he will just mess up the timeline even more. We also know that Wanda will play a part in the multiverse as well. And with the ending of WandaVision shown as Wanda in her basically her final form and studying the book, we could see her pulling people through portals. And we heard her kids calling out for her. So they could come through the portal. We don't really know. But I think that the characters are going to be coming into the MCU and have the spider-verse as well these are all rumors but yet this was a partnership total film and marvel slash disney are so if marvel or disney didn't want this information to be leaked or written they wouldn't have put something into this magazine that said this moving on to the trailer the trailer is happening fairly soon we could potentially see it sometime in june a lot of the sony pictures youtube channels have been changing their channel banner this may not be mean much to kind of the average person but people that are in kind of business and marketing usually only do this when a trailer is nearing to drop they are promoting the movie now because the trailer or even a teaser trailer is soon to be coming out lots of people are suggesting that june 1st which is tomorrow which is tom holland's birthday which it could drop on however i don't think it could drop that quickly i would say give it maybe a week or two weeks into june this is the end of the video guys, I hope you did like it, if you did please hit the like button right beside that is the subscribe button that you can hit to subscribe to my YouTube channel. Beside that is the notification bell that you can hit to stay up to date whenever I upload a video to my YouTube channel. I also live stream weekly, I play numerous games like Warzone, Cold War, Apex, Minecraft and many many more on my Twitch channel, link to that will be down in the description below. Once you're there you can hit the follow button and hit the notification bell to stay up to date whenever i go live over there and if you want to stay up to date more with me i have a discord channel that i recently created 
link to that will be down in the description below once you're there you can go to the rule section and tick the little tick emoji to unlock the rest of the server and once there you will get notifications whenever i go live on twitch or whenever i upload a video to my youtube channel i also have a twitter that i manually update as well whenever i upload a video or whenever i go live on my twitch as well link to that will be down in the description below and i also have a tiktok that i will be posting to very very soon and that will be down in the description below as well and yeah that's it guys hope you like favorite and subscribe and peace